channel once again. If you're a returning viewer, welcome to the channel if you're a new viewer. We are glad to have you with us. If you are a new viewer, we're glad to have you back with us if you're a returning viewer. Welcome to the very first of our prediction videos of the year 2023. Um, it's been quite a while since we've done one of these. Obviously, mm. it was the last one, and that was end of November. We had quite a um, break. Yeah, so it's a bit of a bit of a gap. We did do a vintage um, reactions yeah. by request from our friend Nick um, of Royal Rumble 1992, which went up about two weeks or well, coming up to two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, so if you're into the vintage stuff, we urge you to go and check that out. Um, so without further ado, we are Lee Allen Presents. I am your host, Alan. This is your other host, Leanne. And this is our Royal Rumble 2023 breakdown and predictions. I guess, well, breakdown is not probably the right word for it, but this is our Royal Rumble 2023 predictions. Yes. Um, so there's two title matches on this um, card. There's two Royal Rumble matches and there's one non-title match. Mm -hmm. I went by that a really weird way. Um, <laughs> it works. So the date of this is Royal Rumble is January 28th, which is this coming Saturday. Um, we are putting this up um, on the Wednesday prior, which I think is like the 25th or something. I can't date. What even is time? Um, it's a construct of things happening in the... Doesn't make sense in January. No. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we just watched Raw. Yeah, so we're putting this up on uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm a bit out of it today. That's all good. <laughs> um, because... If we were to wait until SmackDown and then record and edit and upload and get the posts out, Royal Rumble will really be happening by yeah. that point. So, and it yeah, so we want to get our predictions out earlier to give you guys to join the conversation, let us know if you think we're right, if you think we're wrong, and kind of have that sort of conversation back and forth as to as to how how we think things are going to go and how we think things are going to go. And then we can sort of have a bit of, of um, back and forth with yeah. you guys, our fans. And if anything changes during SmackDown, we'll put it in the. Yeah. In the video description stuff and uh there's there. oh no all right ah. <laughs> there's never really usually many matches so looking no. back at last year's royal rumble there was four standard matches and two uh rumble matches mm -hmm. so it's about par for the course the two rumble matches are going to take about an hour if not more yeah. um i don't think they've actually given the timelines in this year i think it's mm -hmm. two minutes for the first two guys and then a minute and a half after yeah. the buzzer goes and then a, another contender, um, competitor rather comes out. Um, they haven't. They usually say stuff like that on Raw and SmackDown, but they haven't really said anything this year that I can remember. Maybe they haven't decided yet. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, but these matches tend to run over an hour, mm -hmm. like an hour and five minutes-ish is about the ballpark. By the time you get everyone in the ring and then have time for stuff to happen. Yeah. And then obviously right. three other matches about right, 20 minutes apiece, including yeah. entrances. You know, that that's about the sweet spot, three hours. Yeah. Um, we don't want to go any longer than mm -hmm. that, WWE, because they get a bit, not, I don't want to use tiresome. Fillery. Draining. Draining. I think is the word I I mean, this is going to be spot. It's going to be a filled lot of with spot fillers. Of course it is. You know? Um, so, uh, this is the 36th Royal Rumble event. The first one being in 1988. Pop quiz. Who won the first Royal Rumble? Uh. <laughs> oh. I saw Jim Duggan. At least I know those things. <laughs> Pop quiz. Oh, Number two. Last year had mm -hmm. two winners. One male, one female. Who were they? Oh my goodness. Um, um, did Austin Theory win the men's? Nope. I don't know why I thought you that. You won money in the bank. Yeah, that's why. That's why I thought that. <coughs> oh goodness. One of them oh, showed up on Raw. Go. One of them showed up on Raw. A lot of people showed up on Raw. Raw 30 was... <laughs> Brock was, Lesnar. Yeah, Brock Lesnar won the match. Okay, men's. cool. Yes. Who won the women's? Who did Charlotte Flair beat for the SmackDown women's title recently? Uh, oh, um, hang on. This is literally about three Brains, weeks. I don't know. Ago. But January's just gone from my head. <laughs> it was December it? when this happened. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. No, wait. Liv Morgan? No. 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 Nope. She had it at some point. I don't know. No. Who, okay. Who did Liv Morgan cash in her Money in the Bank briefcase on? Why can't I remember anything? I, I think know. I need help. Becky Lynch? Ron, Rowdy Ronda <laughs> Rousey. <clears throat> <laughs> Just start saying names. Sorry. Yeah, we're going to be all... <laughs> that um, okay. Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm useless. Okay, 
So, yeah, they were the last two winners um, of last year, the, the men's and the women's, respectively, obviously. Um, I can't remember. Did, no, Ronda Rousey didn't win at Mania. If I remember rightly, she was screwed out of the win. Brock Lesnar did not win also. Let me just double check. So I've got Mania notes on here. So let's have a look. Wasn't last Royal Rumble where the sign caught fire? It was the WrestleMania sign, but I don't think it was at the Rumble. I think it was at a different mm, event. Okay. But yeah, I think you're right. I remember the, the sign catching the year, fire. No, I think it was the year before. Wasn't, the year before? <coughs> Wasn't that in Pandemic, though? We had crowds back when the sign caught fire. I don't remember. Time? What is time? What is time? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Charlotte Flair won their match, mm -hmm. and Roman Reigns won. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they did. Yes. So... Last year's Royal Rumble winners come out zero for zero in terms of wins at Mania, which sucked. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Um, I get the feeling this year is probably going to be a little bit better. Okay, so what we're going to do is cover the non-title match first, mm -hmm. then a title match, then the second title match, then a Rumble, and then a Rumble. I've done it so it's men, women, men, women, men in that kind of... Right. kind of Spread them out. <clears throat> bouncing back. Can't have the women too close together or bad things happen. So first match we've got, and there's not really much known about this one right now, is Bray Wyatt versus L.A. Knight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a Mountain Dew pitch black match. Um, <clears throat> This has been burning for a good couple of months now. It's one of those slow burn stories, which is kind of good. But I feel that they probably could have progressed or done a little bit more with it. Um, it's like, oh yeah, Ellie and I got beaten up like three weeks ago and he had a bunch of stuff put on him. Yeah. And then we don't see him, we don't see Bray Wyatt for two weeks. And it's like, well, how are you furthering this story? You're not. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, so yeah, so then the back and forth with Uncle Howdy and then Uncle Howdy shows up when Bray and Ellie are having a face off in the ring. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Uncle Howdy's sister Abigail's uh, Bray Wyatt. What the hell is going on? It's so confusing. And then, like, we'll talk about it a bit in in, in a bit. Um, that Uncle Howdy seems to be trying to corrupt Alexa Bliss again as well. Uh -huh. And it's like, where are they going with this? Like, I like slow burns. I like a long sto long form storytelling in my wrestling, but you need to give us a bit more at a time. Otherwise, it's gonna just. It's not even simmering at this point. It's off the simmer. It's sort of just bouncing about because now the Firefly Funhouse is back mm. with the Bray Wyatt's builder bum with the death moth. Yeah, <laughs> that that cracked you up. <laughs> that had you cracked. That up. was really actually quite funny. But yeah, it's, it is. I I wonder whether they're actually going anywhere with Uncle Howdy or if they're just <clears throat> gonna brush it away and say it never See, happened. I've got a bad. I say bad feeling. It's probably not necessarily a bad feeling. I've got a feeling that they're gonna push this Bray Wyatt versus Uncle Howdy at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. That's what I think it's going to come down to. Right. But that means we've got another, what will be, two and a half, two, two months, two weeks-ish. Yeah. Um, give or take for that to culminate. And that sounds like a long time, but it's not. It's not going to be because obviously the Bray Wyatt LA Knight feud has been kind of going for probably longer than that. And mm. it, you sort of go from the beginning where he was slapping him and he interrupted him and he slapped him and all of a sudden you kind of go through and through and through and through. And it's like, oh, that actually has been quite a while. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like quite a while, but it has been. So WrestleMania is going to come around so quick. Yeah. But it's just a, a I, I, yeah, I need a bit more. I just want a little bit more. Just, just sprinkle a few more break crumbs. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Um, on the on the, then again, like I said as well with this match, the the Mountain Dew Pitch Black match. What is that? What is it? We is don't it know the rules. Like a lights out match, but even more unsanctioned. Pitch Black to me says there's going to be no lighting. But then how are we going to see what's going on? <laughs> Are we just going to hear a lot so of thumps? So maybe it's like a blindfold match, oh. but where the blindfolded people. <clears throat> it's probably just going to be a lights out match. That's my prediction. It's then just call it a lights out match. lights out match. Then just call it a lights out match. It Don't just... call it a Mountain Dew pitch black match. <laughs> but maybe a pre-taped lights out. So I get the feeling that the lighting that Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy has when they come to the ring is going to be like that. Okay. And it seems like it's going to be like a street fight or something. Um, it's going to be so hard to make anything out. But maybe they'll use that to the advantage. No DQ, no count out. They'll probably just be pinfall and or submission. Mm. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe you've got to cover your opponent in Mountain Dew to win the match. Maybe that's what it is. Because why would... It's weird that it's literally called the Mountain Dew Pitch Black Match. Like... What? 
What a, what just a call it, to get sponsored. Just call it the Pitch Black match, right? Yeah. Why? 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 Pitch Black match, match. Sponsored by Mountain Dew, if you really have to. It's fine. <laughs> or just have the Royal Rumble sponsored by Mountain Dew. Even better. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be... It's weird, but it might be good. I don't know. Uncle Howdy's definitely showing up. Uh-huh. Will we see any more combinations of the of the, the other characters which might be coming? Mm-hmm. Um, speculation. Do, who do you think you know who might be under the mask of Uncle Howdy? Who do you think it might be? Um, one of the uh, people who used to be in the Wyatt <laughs> Six? That's not a thing. No, it's not. Why the, you think in the Wyatt family, right? The Wyatt family, yeah. Well, there's only three people who are in the Wyatt family. You had Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan. Yeah. Spoiler alert, one of those is dead. Well, I don't know names. I'm bad and, with names. And Eric <laughs> Rowan <laughs> is like... Yeah, he's oh, called hi. Uncle Howdy. Hello. Um, yeah, and you notice it because he's got a massive red-ass beard, like just just huge red beard. It's not Eric Unless Rowan. Unless he's cut it off. Uh, and is walking on his knees with, well, like, shoes on his The thing knees. is, when he's in the Independence, they call him Eric Redbeard. So by cutting that off, that's just killing his whole gimmick. It's only Uncle you know? Howdy now. Um, I don't know, I'm just trying to guess. I, I reckon, I still believe filming, I think we covered this previously, it's, it's, it's um, Bray Wyatt's real-life brother, Bo Dallas. Mm-hmm. I reckon it's him. Because he sounds like Bray, but not exactly like Bray. Mm-hmm. And Uncle Howdy sounds like Bray, but not exactly like Bray. All right. You know? Um, yeah, who who have you got? Who have you got winning? Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, yeah, absolutely. No 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 ifs, no up butts, no coconuts. Um Bray Wyatt's definitely winning this. But there may be coconuts in the pitch black match. Who knows? We probably who won't knows? see him. Who knows? We'll just hear horses hooves. <coughs> <coughs> okay. On to our second match then. That's the first of our two championship matches. Mm-hmm. And that is the Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair. Defending the Raw Women's Championship against the aforementioned Alexa Bliss. Yeah. So again, this has been kind of so. This was this has been kind of burning for six weeks, maybe mm-hmm. give or take. I think it was um, where they had two three-way women's matches um, to sort of see who would win each other's matches, and then the winner of those matches would go to face each other. It happened to be Bailey versus Alexa Bliss. The winner of that match becomes a more contender. Obviously, Alexa Bliss wins it. She gets a title match. I want to say it was the Raw before Christmas or the Raw after Christmas. Mm. It was one of the two, I think. I'm pretty sure it was one of those. Um, and the 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 death moth, the, the Uncle Howdy kind of thing, starts flashing on the screen and Alexa Bliss is, like, losing her mind. And she's kind of like, ah, and she just, just goes nuclear yep. and just starts beating seven bells out of Bianca Bella. Um Oh, I probably should have mentioned the vase smashing across the back of Bianca's head as well, like a week before in that interview. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but either way, like, Alexa Bliss is becoming quite vicious. Mm-hmm. Um, she's just beating, savagely, beats savagely beating everyone who gets in her way, basically. Uh-huh. Including Bianca Bella. And I'm all about that. Because we've made it no secret that we think that Bianca Bella is stale. She needs yeah. a gimmick change. She, she needs to change something up. Like, watching Raw 30, we've literally just finished it about a half hour ago. And she's skipping to the wing and she's got her hair. Even she looks bored with it. <laughs> I quite liked some of the quips she was doing, mind. The quips, yeah. But the, the, the whole skipping to the ring with the long hair. It's like, come on. Even she looks a bit fed up a little bit. It, you know? Um, and obviously then, sort of like a couple of weeks ago on Raw, she was trying to get into a fight with Alexa Bliss. Mm-hmm. Um, and they kind of stopped rolling in the crowd. And then Uncle Howdy makes an appearance. Yes. And Alexa Bliss sort of turns the tables and beats her up and then kind of wanders off. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, they're, they're very heavily teasing. Excuse me a second. Oh. Very heavily teasing Alexa Bliss rejoining Bray Wyatt yes. or... Well, it it seems like more joining Uncle Howdy than Bray Wyatt. Mm. But, is and kind of harkening back to the, the Bray stuff from just now, is Uncle Howdy on Bray Wyatt's side? Or is he opposed to Bray Wyatt? Mm. Is he... Maybe just trying to bring the real Bray Wyatt out of Bray Wyatt. You know, are we going to get the Fiend back at mm-hmm. some point? Are we going to get something more vicious back at some or, or make an appearance? You know, yeah. what's what's Bray going to do? How is he going to? It's but, all very cryptic. And it's the same thing with Alexa. Like yeah. since the Bray Wyatt stuff, and they had the therapy thing with the Lily doll, and then that kind of went nowhere. And then oh, I don't need Lily anymore. And then the last therapy session, he brings out the doll, and she's coming out with Lily again. And it's like, well, but now she's not bringing what? out Lily, but Lily's still in her like. 
overhead thingy on her entrance. Yeah, the um, AR stuff. I don't get it. Yeah, it's weird. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that this will be the course correction Alexa needs. Because she's not... I don't want to use the word floundering. That's not the right term. She just hasn't really had good creative as of late. Mm. And that's nothing to do with, obviously, Alexa herself. Because she's been just dealing with what she's been given to do. Yeah. And she's been doing a good job of what she's been she given has. to do. Like, she, she ended up being, like, a support character for Bianca for a while. And it was like, that's not where she fits. Yeah. Just her energy doesn't sit well in a support character. No. No, it doesn't. She needs to be on her own and she needs to be mm-hmm. kicking ass, taking names. Or even, like, as part of this rumoured white sex faction that they were talking about months ago with Uncle Howdy and Bray and whoever else. Like, that would work. Because she's still... She would be still the only female. Oh, I can't say anyway. <laughs> she'd probably still be the only female in that mm. faction she'd still be kind of on her own because you wouldn't have like damage controls got you know Sky and Bailey, and you got um they got the Kai and whenever one of them's involved all three of them get involved in... I knew I got Wyatt from somewhere <laughs> yeah it was months ago well that's the name of um, Bray Wyatt's handle on Twitter at the moment yeah. Wyatt Six. that's where I got it from yeah. I thought I was going crazy for a minute it's all good <laughs> so I mean yeah it's good to see um, Alexa back in the main event mm-hmm. um like I said I'd be more like open to Bianca Bella if she'd have a, a character change or a Even gimmick just change. Just slightly. Just something. Just give us something. <laughs> Let's do something you know? different. Turn heel for yeah. a minute. That'd be it's, fun. It's the exact same character, like we said before, from NXT. Yeah, it is. Nothing, Nothing has changed. Nothing's changed. At all. Um, who you got? Who you got winning this? It might be wishful thinking, <laughs> but I'm kind of going Alexa. I think it could be a catalyst for whatever <laughs> is happening with her. See, I think the other way around. Mm. I think Bianca's going to win, and that's going to be the catalyst. Okay. Because mm. I think there's going to be... Um, I, we'll, we'll talk about it in a minute, but um, I think Bianca's going to go into Mania and defend the title against the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. Cool. Yes. Um, but yeah, I think, I think this will further relax some more, um, hopefully. Yeah. And it's, yeah. She, she's going to lose the completely loser plot. <laughs> And then end up sort of joining Howdy and, and everything is going to start culminating together. It'll probably be a three minute DQ. <laughs> Ooh, I think that wouldn't appease the fans. It wouldn't, but that's probably what will happen. Yeah. I, I mean, don't know. Vince it's, is back. It's not, well, yeah, but Vince is Ninja to create it. Yeah, to anyone who doesn't know, Vince McMahon is currently back as the chairman of the board of WWE. There's a lot of palaver going on by this. I'm not going to go through it at all. But yeah. Um, okay, so next title match, the second of the two title matches. Mm-hmm. It's the third time we've seen this match at a Royal Rumble event, believe it or not. Oh, well, that's interesting. I believe it was 2018. Mm-hmm. No, 2017. 20... Hang on, hang on. Let me get my years right. Hold on. 2018, 2021, and 2023. Roman Reigns, the head of the table, mm-hmm. defending his undisputed... Universe WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship against Kevin Owens. Um, again, this has been a bit of a. I'm, I'm enjoying the way they've taken Owens with this, with the prize fighter thing coming back, and yes. he's, he's coming in, he's just yeah. beating the hell out of people for the sake of it, and, and he's going after Roman again. But like I said, this is the third time at a Royal Rumble, and yeah. it's like, well. It's a bit weird. Okay. Uh, why? It's a good matchup. Um, I th- I think I'm quite looking forward to this match because of the yeah, storyline yeah. stuff that's behind mm-hmm. it. And, and because it's Kevin Owens. And like Sami Zayn stuff and the Usos mm-hmm. and all the business behind that could make some interesting, <laughs> yeah. make it different to the other matches. I yeah, suppose. so Sami Zayn's obviously throwing um, in with the bloodline mm-hmm. and Kevin Owens is kind of planting seeds of dissent amongst that. Yeah. Because they've obviously got history together. They, they were best friends at one point. They're, I think they're still on real life. Yeah, probably. But it, it's obvious. Yeah. Um, it's fun to be enemies with your friends. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know really know what else. I mean, Kevin Owens has been kind of upsetting the bloodline, coming mm-hmm. in, stunnering everyone, and then the bloodline are getting the upper hand on him, beating him up, and Sami Zayn's kind of helping, and then not helping, and he looks kind of torn. Mm-hmm. Sami Zayn's definitely going to have... Involvement in this match. Oh, yeah. Which way he goes, it's difficult to say. Mm-hmm. I reckon they're not ready to pull him out of the bloodline. No, I don't think so. So I think he'd probably side with Roman. But I do believe there's a plan for that. Mm. And coming down the line, he's going to turn on the bloodline. Most likely. Um, I mean, yeah, there's not really much else to say. The bloodline is causing chaos. Owen's been trying to stub out the fires. Roman's getting a bit more <laughs> of a short fuse than he did before, oh, yeah. I think. Mm. Getting angry. And Paul Heyman is. <laughs> um, Devious. Yeah. I mean, you got anything to put in this match or? Um, well, 
I think you said it all. It's, the build-up's been, it sort of hasn't been much. I guess the build-up <laughs> between Roman and Owens is sort of um, not direct. It, yeah, it's been Kevin bouncing the soul of Sokoa or the Usos yeah. or Sammy, not Roman Reigns directly. Yeah. He did stunner him on, I think it was the contract he signing. He yes. did get him once. Good. <laughs> but then everyone piled on Kevin Owens and slammed yeah. him through a table. So it's like, oh, okay. It's a bit like for, for Owens to win, he needs he needs a bloodline. He needs a group behind him. And at the moment, he's playing the loner card, yeah. which might. He's the lonely. Him. He's the lonely immigrant on the island of relevancy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's an interesting matchup. I think it'll I mean, be fun. The thing is, this match hasn't been said that it's no DQ mm. or anything like that. So if anyone does get involved, it'll cause a disqualification. Now that technically would mean Owen still has a rightful claim to the contendership. Yeah. Now true. obviously whether, but then that depends on the referee it could sees it. Escalate to a no yeah. DQ or a. But that point but... then though, I mean, we've seen um, Drew and Sheamus feuding with Imperium. Mm-hmm. And the I don't appear sorry the Viking Raiders yeah, yeah and they kind of put that one to bed in this tag team tournament, but both of those guys are in the rumble. Would they really sacrifice mm. their potential injuries of 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 that yeah. to help Kevin Owens? To, you know that's that's the kind of it, it's like that you know yeah um but yeah so who you got uh Roman Reigns <laughs> yeah Roman's keeping Roman's retaining he's sorry, gonna have Owens. it I think he's gonna have that through Mania um yeah and then maybe they'll split them up. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I I was convinced they were going to split the tag titles on Raw. Yeah, it did seem like they might. Mm, but they didn't. Mm. But then this tag team title tournament on SmackDown is only for the SmackDown tag titles. Yeah, so, so. that it's playing up the, the so, chance that they'll so split them. So the Banger Bros, because that's what they're calling them, which is just... <laughs> Terrible. I'm not even going to go there. Yeah, um, that's wrong. Um, potentially might take those off the Usos. Might Drew do. and Sheamus. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. All right, so match number four. The Women's Royal Rumble match. Oh, yeah. We've got how many people? We've got 30 women in it. Let's we go. We've got 30 women joining the match. How many have been announced thus far, Leanne? I saw the number on your paper. She's Not cheating. Many. She's cheating. How many? Seven. Dang it. <laughs> Told you I saw it. I knew it wasn't many anyway. But Name the seven. No. Oh. <laughs> no, I will not. Stab some names at me. Who you got in the Rumble? Who do you think is in there? Um... <laughs> Sonia Deville. Not confirmed. She could be there. She could be, but she's not confirmed. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna, wrong look, yet. I'm looking for confirmed oh, names. Oh, no. I'm not sure. Okay. So, so far confirmed, we've got Liv Morgan, mm -hmm. Raquel Rodriguez, mm -hmm. Rhea Ripley, uh -huh. Candice LeRae, yeah. Shayna Baszler, uh -huh. Zelina Vega, uh -huh. that's going to be good, and Emma. Those are the only seven out of 30. Mm -hmm. That is literally less than 25% of the participants. And we're like... Four days away from the Royal Rumble. It's weird, right? What the hell, WWE? It's weird. I, I mean, you're going to get maybe some surprise entries. I'm going to put that over the men's one, because I've <laughs> only seen the number on that one. You've already seen it, haven't you? No, I haven't. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah, there'll be some surprise entries. <clears throat> yeah. But usually it's like, maybe leave four or five slots free for well, surprises. So, one thing I, I saw, um, I think, if I remember right, this is taking place in San Antonio, in Texas. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure this is in Texas. Um, Undertaker lives in Texas. Yeah. His wife is Michelle McCool. Uh -huh. Legendary women's wrestler. She's not in the Rumble. She's confirmed that she's not in the Rumble, even though okay. it's literally down the road from where she lives. So. Interesting. What? What have they got planned, you know? Yeah. Um, Who would you, if you were to pick three people. Oh, goodness. To see a surprise entrance in the Rumble, who would you pick? Oh, no. The Bella Twins, no, that's never going to happen. <laughs> they were supposed to appear on, on Monday Night Raw, on the mm. 30th. I saw something they posted on social media, but didn't quite get it, because I think they were talking about something else that... Um, I, yeah, I can't remember but why... They weren't happy about the uh, women's, revolution, ev women's revolution not being included. In something like that, yeah. But yeah, that's the whole thing. Um, <laughs> three people that I think would be good as surprise entrance. The thing yeah. is, I don't know very much the, like, um, the... Oh. classic women's wrestlers like from back Thanks. in the day sort of thing mm. to know who would be good for surprises mm. Lacey Evans will probably show up yeah I think that's a strong possibility um, not they, that I'm particularly pushing, interested they've but... been pushing those vignettes on Smackdown yeah. which have been quite yawn inducing yeah. honestly 
Um, Shayna Bays is not doing anything at the moment, is she? Oh, wait, yeah, she's one of the names you read out. Mm -hmm. Ronda Rousey, then. I think Ronda's a good show. Um, <clears throat> ooh, how about... <coughs> What was it? What's her name? Ah, Valhalla. Oh, that'd be good. Because she hasn't been back in the ring since she returned with the Viking mm. Raiders. Sarah Logan is... So, it? yeah, I think she's literally going to name Valhalla. Yeah, now. that'd be cool. She hasn't, yeah, so that'd she be cool. hasn't been back. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. There um, you go. Oh, I gave some names. <laughs> I think I'd yeah. like to see Lita. Yeah. Because she's still crushing it. Every time she appears and has a match, it's like, holy crap, she can still go. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, I don't think we'll see Trish Stratus this year. I just no. I don't get a feeling we'll see Trish Stratus. Um, I'm wondering if the Michelle McCool thing's a bluff. Mm. Like a like a red herring, like a fake out. Yeah, it could be. Um, I I agree that I think Ronda Rousey's going to be in it. I think Charlotte Flair is going to be sat at ringside for this, man. Yeah, I don't, I just got a feeling that Charlotte's going to get involved Scope somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's because you know what she likes. It's a pay per view. I'm the champ. I need to be involved. You know that. Kind She'll of. sit there with her, <clears throat> her chest poked in forward, puffed out, <laughs> um, and her moleless face. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I think that it could come down to like maybe have Rhea Ripley come in, right? Yeah. Like maybe number eight or ten or something. Clears the ring. Mm -hmm. Next person comes in, clears her out. Next person comes in, clears her out. Mm -hmm. Then out comes Beth Phoenix. Because oh. they've got yes. unfinished business. They got heat. I want to see cool. Beth Phoenix. I want to see Beth Phoenix join the Rumble. That would be really So I think cool. that'd be awesome. Yes. That'd be great. Let's have that. That yeah. sounds good. I'd really Book enjoy it. that. Mm. I know, right? Book it now. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing Zelina back in action. Because yes. I don't think she's had a match since she cool. returned. No, I don't think so. Not since she's joined so. um, uh, the... Delgado of the Fantasma. Yes. Oh, El, oh, El... 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 Oh, God. Ah. Where, why is it gone? Legado del Fantasma? That sounds right, I think. Uh, yeah, the Santa's Escobar. That, those people. Yeah. <laughs> um, fancy big headdresses. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I, the thing with the Royal Rumble match is you can't really go, well, this has been building up and that's been building up for the lot of part because there's, 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 no there's no build up. There's no build up. It's 30 people I'm entering the Royal trying Rumble. to throw everyone else out of the ring and be mm -hmm. the last one in for the number contendership for the WrestleMania title spot. Um, who have you got winning the Royal So, oh, out, of the, out of the confirmed names... So we'll mm. do two picks, okay? Right. Out of the confirmed names, pick one. Okay. And then maybe not so much they're going to win it, but biggest likelihood of, of um, making an appearance at the Rumble. Okay. Um, for that one, Lacey Evans, I'll stick that as my most the, likely as appearance. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Most likely person who hasn't been announced yet. I mean, with more than 20 people left to be announced it's quite easy to just pick a name and it might come <laughs> up so that's pretty good yeah um who have you got for that one um i think beth phoenix, beth phoenix. Mm -hmm. cool. i don't think they've finished with the whole judgment day and edge thing mm -hmm. um and i think this would be a good way to cool. stop and then i'm not looking at that i'm looking at the okay. women's one and then i guess for the predicted winner yeah. this would be if one of the people who's already announced is the winner. <coughs> this is what we think. Yeah. So if it's the winner is someone who hasn't been predicted, we don't count as wrong because <coughs> we didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I will go with... Ugh, it's not a great pick, is it? No. It's not a lot to pick from. Uh, oh, goodness. Let's say, I think Rhea. Yeah. I think Rhea Ripley's the best likelihood to yeah. win... Either she'll one. come in like midway through and wreck everything and go through to the end, or she'll be near the entrance, yeah. clear everyone out, and then we'll get eliminated by a team up. Well, Judgment Day is getting a really big push right now. Yeah. And obviously she being Huge push. and she like people have been clambering for her and so a code of a match. Like and people are clambering for her to join the men's rumble. I would I would love that. China I did really it. Would. China did it? If if any of the women in the women's division at the moment could do it, it's her. I think Beth Phoenix did it as well, actually, thinking about it. That rings a bell, yeah, mm. I think. I think we watched some clips. Mm. Yeah, cool. Mm. Yeah, so that's the Women's Royal Rumble. All right. Of what a very sparse amount of names that we can pull from. They'll be pointing. Yeah, they'll Point be to pointing to the WrestleMania sign. There'll be fireworks. Because we're on the road to WrestleMania. There'll probably be people coming up from NXT and doing some filler spots. Yeah. Um, it is what it is. Tell you who's not going to be in the Royal Rumble? Mandy Rose. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on to the second Royal Rumble match, and this will be the last match of the night. Yes. Um, it's the men's Royal Rumble. Okay. Okay. How many men do you think they've got announced for the Royal Rumble match? It's more than the women's. Yes. Maybe about 12-ish. Oh, 15. 
15. It went too low. Bang on halfway is the okay. amount of numbers we've got for the men's Royal Rumble. So at the third, we've got 15. A bit more reasonable, but still feels low for this close. Yeah. So again, we'll just run off the names that we do know that are in there. <sighs> let me just, let me, let me, let me run through the names and we'll talk about this. Okay. Cody Rhodes, mm -hmm. Kofi Kingston, Ricochet, Bobby Lashley, Seth freaking Rollins, Austin Theory, Gunter, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Omas, Braun Strowman, Baron Corbin, Santos Escobar, Ray Fennec, uh, Ray Fennec? No, that's a different company. Ray Mysterio. Wrong Whoops. Ray. <laughs> Whoops. Oh dear. Um, and Karrion Cross. So cool. they're the confirmed 15 men competitors for the men's Royal Rumble so far. Some good <clears> names. <throat> I really hate that they've gone, yeah, Cody's in the Rumble. Cody should have been a surprise. Surprise entrant. entrant. Just surprise return. Did 100%. they, did they, back in like 2020, before everything went to pot with the world, before this whole pandemic thing kicked hey. off, did they announce that Edge was coming back to the Rumble? No, no they didn't. And that pop was... Look what happened. Insane. It was insane. Look what happened. Three, two, one. Eh, you think you know me. Oh! Like, even just thinking... Look at that. Just thinking about it, I'm getting chills. I, think, I feel like that's the biggest pop that I've experienced since watching wrestling. Oh, so <laughs> It's crazy. So Greg's, come on now. I just always remember that Scottish guy who was there. And he was yes. like, right, I think it was Randy Orton. And he went, three, two, one. You think you know me? And he's like, eh. Ah. <laughs> it's such a good And it was like, like, like literally 10 seconds. He was like, wait, what? <laughs> what? And it, you could see it on the faces of all the fans. They were mm. dumbstruck. They were an edge. The, the reaction he got. They were like, he was he was on the verge of tears. You could yes. see it in his face. It's okay. You know? And imagine that for Cody. I know. But then they go... I got it as big, but... <laughs> but they went and ruined it. They Cody's did. coming back. He's in the Rumble. Oh, yeah. Oh. This whole build that made us watch that painful match in clips over and <laughs> yeah. over again. I, yeah. just, I stopped looking at the screen yeah. when they were playing those recaps. And the problem is, <laughs> like, why. these recaps are great and all. Play the match, he's come back. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Go, this is the long road. He's... he's he's. So he goes on. Let's just say, for example, say he wins the Rumble. Just for example, say, okay, for a storytelling. Mm -hmm. Wins the Rumble. Next night on Raw, Cody Rhodes won the Rumble. This is the arduous journey he had to take. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then show it. Like that works to a better effect, in my opinion. Not going, this is Cody. He's having surgery. Don't forget about him. Next week, this is Cody. He's, he's still there. You know, he's still... You know, he's had surgery. Just don't forget about him. Mm -hmm. Next week, the same. Next week, the same. The week out... Oh, yeah, he's in the Rumble. Wait, sorry, yeah. what? It'd be better even if... If they really wanted to build this up that he was coming back. <laughs> at least play a different package every time. <laughs> Not the same one. Every time with Brandy saying, oh, he's looking and feeling better than he's ever done before. And it's like, yeah, I don't believe you for a start. <laughs> Too soon as well. No. And like, don't get me wrong, I I do enjoy WWE. Yes. A lot more since Triple H taken over, obviously. Yes. Um, but the quality of the in-ring product, and this is just going to sound like I'm a total mark for the different companies, <laughs> AEW, Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Watch Cody in any of those companies. Mm -hmm. He puts on barn burners. Oh, yeah. Like, not to say he hasn't in WWE. No. Like, his fight with Seth Rollins at WrestleMania was great. It was. At Backlash... It was good. Mm -hmm. Hell in a Cell, that should never have happened. Nope. Mm -mm. But can he still do those kinds of matches he was doing in AEW or Ring of Honor or New Japan? No. No, he can't. No. And it's because, because of WWE. creative, because yeah. of being held back and because of the other styles. We don't want you doing that, that uh, the flippy stuff. We don't want you doing the dodgy stuff, the stuff that might injure you. He gets injured lifting weights. What difference do you think <laughs> the wrestling style in the ring is going to make, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's no, the I'm whole just, thing. I'm really annoyed that they announced it. Yeah, it would have if he'd come back without <clears throat> any of this build up, then we'd have been. Yeah, it's like wow, great. He's I back, still would have but... like he would have been my pick for most likely to be in the rumble. that's not mm. announced. Yeah, <coughs> no, he should. He should. They shouldn't have done that. No. But there we go. That's choices beyond. Yeah. Okay. So. Beyond. Um. Okay, let's let's okay let's let's, let's let's take it down the route of let's go most likely to be in the rumble mm -hmm. that's not confirmed oh, in your it's mind. It's gonna be harder, I think, for the men's. Um... Like surprise entrance, and we've not seen for a while. If you want to go down that route, whatever you think, what what do you fantasy bucket? Who do you want to see in the Royal Rumble? You know what would be really really cool, but isn't probably gonna happen because I don't know what <coughs> what the status is. Mm. Is if Biggie came back. Oh yeah, that's a good shot. Is that you're likely to? I think I don't I I can't think of anyone else who sort of comes to my head as like if that person 
was came out for the rumble and someone who's not completely out there like undertaker or something that i'd be like oh my god that's great it's gonna kick us off in a minute <laughs> what is, do you think undertaker's gonna be like, no. no there's someone no. that would be very likely to get there's a story that they've already built very briefly on raw what was the main event of raw we literally just watched mm-hmm. it um it was austin theory and mm-hmm. bobby lashley and what happened at the end of that match <sighs> yeah um brock, brock lesnar bobby lashley's confirmed for the rumble yeah austin theory's also confirmed for the rumble what if those two are in the ring, all of a sudden, Brock Lesnar shows up? Yeah, that's a good point. But what if he's not in the Rumble and he still shows up? I mean, that'd be a swerve at all, but he could screw Bobby Lashley out of winning the Rumble. And yeah. then this could lead into the triple, uh, the, the, the tiebreaker match, mm-hmm. the rubber band match at WrestleMania. Yeah. You know? I still think it'd be cool for Big E to come back, but still. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. Yeah, yeah you're definitely um, on the more But I think, scale. yeah, <laughs> like, complete fantasy booking... The biggest thing of all, and I, I with the, the poster, I, I can't remember if I said this on the video, if I just talked to you about it. The poster has all this electric and electricity and the storm oh, clouds yes. going around. And the whole thing that was that they were doing this because one of the surprise entrants was going to be The Rock. Mm. And The Rock was going to win the Royal Rumble and he was going to go on to fight Res- uh, Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Yeah. But then he said since that he's that, not... That would have been... That's my like ultimate... That, that if I had to pick something, it's that. I would definitely floor everyone. Yeah. Just imagine it. Just like fifth, like, like 10, 12 guys in the ring fighting. <laughs> Three, two, one. Eh, if you smell. They're just going to be like. They just jump out. Like, what? Oh, never mind. <laughs> you know, just like, just everyone stop. It's like, um, oh, what year was it? Was it 98? I think it was Royal Rumble 98. And on the weeks leading up to the Royal Rumble, Stone Cold Steve Austin was literally running down into matches, stunning people confirmed for the Royal Rumble, and then running back out again. He would literally run in, stunner, run out, boom, stunner, run out, boom. Yeah. And he was doing it for weeks, right? Came to the Royal Rumble, and there was like maybe 12 guys in the ring, 10, 12 guys, whatever it was, in the ring, and they're all brawling. Eh, glass breaks. Everyone stops fighting, because they'd all eaten stunners. Rags. <laughs> from Stone Cold Steve Austin yeah. they all stopped and turned to look at the entrance ramp and like Mark I was one of Mark Merrow at the back and he's like <laughs> shadow boxing like he's ready to fight Stone Cold Steve Austin he comes from behind and starts chucking people out Thanks. he's like oh my god this is brilliant that's what we need in a Royal Rumble we need that unpredictableness that yeah. that, that kind of energy you know what uh... um, yeah so likely to join I'm going to put Brock Lesnar I think Brock's going to be in the Rumble. Yeah. Um, what about you? Who do you want to put down for that? No, I want to put Brock Lesnar. But I feel like I should be true to my original thing <laughs> so and think say Biggie. Big e. Like, imagine the pop Big E would get. If, like, because Co- uh, Kofi's in there. Yeah. He's Xavier I, Woods isn't, though. No. That's weird. I really hope Kofi gets to make up for last time. Because <laughs> he got, he yeah, got eliminated he accidentally. Yeah, he slipped. Um, so I'm sure he'll get a chance to I hope so. show off and won't have the same unfortunate. <laughs> but if Big E comes back while he's in the ring, then that would be that'd be quite something. Mm. They'd have a moment. Yeah. Yes, we'll go with that. Okay. Um, predicted winner. From the ones announced. From the ones that are announced, yeah. Cody. Yeah. I I yeah, I can't they're building Cody up again. Mm-hmm. The closest one outside of Cody for me. Would be Seth Rollins. Yeah, I was actually just thinking that. But <laughs> I don't know. I think they've got other. I get the feeling they've got other plans. Yeah. He's he doesn't need a title to make no, him great. He doesn't. You know, he's not. He's the kind of person that makes the title. He doesn't need the title to make him, mm-hmm. as we've already seen. Yeah. You know, he's doing well, just sort of feeding <laughs> with other people and just making having fun, annoying, having a great time, <laughs> doing his silly little dance. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Let him do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, so, um, I know you're going to ask what you, what you predicted favourite match would be, because it's probably the men's rumble. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, least looking forward to match. Uh, ooh, ee, mm, That's uh, a tough one, actually. Mm. Ooh, it is tough. <clears throat> oh, no, I don't know. I think everything's going to be good at some degree, and I'm worried, because the one that I'm leaning towards is potentially going to be the dud match. Yeah. Is Bianca versus Alexa. I was kind of thinking that. Like, 
between bells, that could be the dud. But mm. then everything that happens around it and after it possibly might bring it possibly. back. Possibly. It could be just the lowest on a, in the high bar. So Alter- they all, all could be great and just that's mm. slightly less great, but still great. Alternatively for me, I think it's the Women's Rumble. Could just because be. we've got such a low number already announced. Yeah, it and we're really, four days out. really depends that, on the calibre of what the surprises are. I, I wouldn't... The problem is, even me thinking about it, I can't think of anyone massive that they could no. pull in for this. No. They'll Beth probably, Phoenix is the biggest one. And in SmackDown, just reel off all the rest that are in it. <laughs> Maybe leave one that might be Beth Phoenix. I just realised Aaliyah's not been around for a while. No. Um. Yeah, the, the, I wouldn't say worried. Worried's probably the wrong word. Mm. But it makes me a little nervous that they've only had seven women for the Rumble. Yeah, yeah. It's I don't know. It's out weird. of the ordinary. Did I write down those participants for last year's in the previews? I think they would have had... Most of them, right? Oh, I did not. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I I, think that's probably the most nervous one for me is, yeah. is the, the Women's Rumble. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, I think... But then the, the problem is you've got a lot of good qual- quality athletes that could end up turning yes. into it, including people from NXT. No, I don't watch NXT. I know there's a lot yeah. of good people down there. There could um, be some surprises that are just so like incredible that we can't think of them right now. Mm, you yeah. never know. Um, but yeah, I think Belle Valley could be Bianca or Alexa. Mm. And I hate that because Alexa is one of my favourites. Yeah. But yeah. then Bianca isn't, so... No. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? All right. Well, that's our Royal Rumble 2023 predictions. Take us home, Ian. Thank you so much for watching our predictions for the Royal Rumble 2023. We will be back um, probably... Monday, Sunday. Sunday. Oh yeah, because we can watch on Sunday. Sunday with because this is on a Saturday. Yay, UK people happy. Um, yes, we'll be back with our reactions then. So do tune in and watch. Um, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell, and you'll get a notification when that video goes up. So I mean, <coughs> what's not to like? You can also follow us on socials. Our details are in our link tree, which is in the video description below. You can find us on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram and we'll put posts there that will when the video goes up as well so you can click a link and go straight to it um and we put weekly um updates every week I was just gonna say that yeah yes (laughs) which has definitely kept us uh, putting out more content than we used Mm. to so it's great I'm enjoying um leave comments below who else do you think might be announced for the women's (laughs) royal rumble you can All say who men's. you think for the men's as well. Mm. We've got maybe a bigger pool for the men's, but yeah. more entries left for the women. The thing is, like people like Soraya or Ruby Riot, uh, mm. Ruby Soho now. Yeah, they can't. No, Valhalla's probably a good shot though. I I would love to see Valhalla get in the ring. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see that. Mm. That could be really intense. That could be quite brutal. Yeah, let's do it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Have mm-hmm. I missed anything? Don't think so. Like the video, that one. Oh, like it one. if you liked it. Even if you didn't like it, well, just, just hit it anyway. What's the harm? Hey? It's not going to hurt you. Um, and until next time. Um, don't get thrown over any top ropes. Don't get thrown over any top ropes. Or if you do, don't let both your feet hit the floor. Yeah, just just kind of <coughs> hop. Yeah. And make Rags jump. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>